Our nice spring weather is going to continue at least through midweek. Water vapor image showing the moisture mainly in the mid levels of the atmosphere, but the brown color showing the dry air that's in place. You can see that across Florida, and that's courtesy of some high pressure in the region that's going to stay with us through Wednesday. We've got high pressure that's located off the southeast Florida coast, and then upper level high pressure that's sitting pretty much right on top of Florida. And those two combining forces is what's going to give us some clear skies, light winds, and some really warm temperatures for this time of year. Our high temperatures on Monday and Tuesday, ranging from the upper 70s to low 80s along the coast, and then the inland areas can get into the mid and upper 80s, some areas approaching record levels for this time of year. We can see that on Tuesday as well with high temperatures still remaining the same. Now, overnight lows are also going to be on the mild side, generally in the 50s and 60s, although coastal areas of southeast Florida could be a little bit warmer. And the same thing goes on Tuesday night. Now, of course, those milder temperatures combined with the clear skies and the light winds from high pressure in the area is going to contribute to the development of fog both Monday night and Tuesday night. So when you wake up on Tuesday morning and Wednesday morning, whenever you're going to school or work or just doing your daily travels in the morning, just be very careful as fog is expected across much of the state both of those mornings. So take a little extra time with your morning commute, but also those that fog will dissipate of course, giving you the clear skies during the day. Now, Wednesday is going to be our transition day. High pressure is going to start to move off to the east as we see our next frontal system coming in from the Midwest. We're still going to see mostly clear skies for much of the state on Wednesday as that storm system starts to head eastward. But our cloud cover will start to increase on Wednesday, which will have somewhat of an effect on our temperatures, especially across northwest Florida. But still, our highs will remain very warm in the 80s for much of the state. And then on Thursday is when our next frontal system is going to start approaching the state and move across on Friday. Now it's going to be kind of a slow mover, so if you're concerned about timing, it looks like a little bit after sunrise on Thursday is when we could start seeing some showers and thunderstorms move into northwest Florida. And even by the evening, it's still just pushing into the Florida Big Bend, so again, moving very slowly. In terms of severe weather, most of that should stay to our north as we get that tail end of the system making for some rather weak thunderstorms. We could get a few strong ones, but again, most of the severe weather should stay to our north. And the front will continue to weaken as it pushes down the peninsula overnight Friday and then moving off the coast Friday night. Now, our rainfall totals in all staying rather low, less than a quarter and a half of an inch across most of the state as it moves through on Friday and Saturday. Of course, that'll open up to a rather nice weekend with high pressure quickly moving in behind that frontal boundary for your Saturday and Sunday, again, making for some nice conditions over your weekend. Now, our forecast highs for Thursday will start off rather cool because of that frontal system moving in, staying in the 70s across northwest Florida and the 80s still in the peninsula. Now, on Friday is when that cooler air mass will start to head into the state behind that cold front. Again, our 70s across north Florida and then still in the 80s across our southern portions of the state. Now, on Saturday is when it will start to warm up again as high pressure starts to move back into the area. Again, our highs climbing a few degrees each day and getting back to around 80 across most areas on Sunday. So again, those springtime conditions with the warming temperatures will continue all the way through the weekend into next week before we see our next potential weather system come in towards the middle of next week. And as always, for more information on weather for your area and how to get a plan for your family or business, you can always go to our website, floridadisaster.org.